Hello Scorpios. So the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that there was some kind of shocking tower moment coming in. Um, some kind of unexpected, unexpected truth coming out, possibly a third party situation. So let's see what's going on with you guys now. Love offer commitment. That's a good card. It's a good card to get. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Third, third party distraction karma. Yeah, there is a third party either on your end, on your person's end, if this is your story, that is. Of vulnerability, receptivity. Willpower, strength, and confidence. Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Pulling them in slowly, making making their move, getting to know each other. Pride and stubbornness. Magic, intention, power, manifestation. Okay. Let me turn this around for you guys. Sorry about that. The energy I'm getting here is that, God, sorry, someone is trying to block your person from coming towards you. Now, this could be an ex, like a karmic. This could also be a family member that just doesn't like you, but we'll look into it and see what's going on because um, I'm getting like the desire is there for love offer commitment. Like this person wants to give you this offer, but it's like someone or something keeps making them feel isolated and alone and, you know, confused and empty. You see, this is like your person against this wall, like in this kind of dark night of the soul type energy where they just, they feel lost. They feel confused. Some of them have a karmic that's doing love spells on them and doing spells to try to get you out of the picture. And you, if this is your story, you'd probably know about this person already. Like you'd probably be aware that this karmic does witchcraft also. Like, I don't think that this would be like a shock to you. I think that this would be something that you'd be familiar with, something that would resonate with you. Cause I'm just getting this sense that it's like, see how mixed the energy is. Do you see, like, do you see the energy of these cards? Just how mixed the energy is? It's like this person wants to give you this love offer, but then they keep feeling isolated and alone. And then you have this, look at this man. It could be male or female. You see this person is like staring at you, like competing, you know, and like, he's like not, it's like, he's not even aware of it. He's looking at, he's distracted. He's confused. He's lost. He's feeling alone. He's looking at someone, something else. Like I said, it could be male or female. This could, they could both, you know, this could be a male or a female, but it's some kind of karmic energy, some kind of third party distraction here. For some of you, this is not actually a person. This is just because third party is not always a person. Like a lot of the time it is, but sometimes the third party is like a toxic job, like a dead end job. that's just taking all this person's time and attention. Um, it could be their own, you know, just like some kind of outside energy, some kind of third energy that kind of comes in between you two. It, it could be like a, a toxic belief system, like almost like a thought form that's just taken a life of its own that needs to be banished, that needs to be removed. I'm just getting that this needs to be brought to your attention though, but there's some kind of third party energy. So like I said, it might not be a person. It might just be could be this own this person's own negativity that's kind of created a it's taken on a life and energy of its own and that needs to be you know cleansed like you know uncrossing possibly for a lot of you though it, it, I feel like it probably is a, a karmic a jealous karmic that's trying to create issues because it's just such mixed energy it's like they want to give you this love offer and they keep feeling like like there's like a wall like they feel like blocked like they feel isolated like they're trying to get to you and they feel like they can't for some reason like they feel like alone or they feel like they don't have the right words to say they don't um they just don't know how to talk to you it's like they don't know how to it just feels like some kind of block that needs to be removed it just feels like there's something there where it's like something like the desire is there. The love for you is there from what I'm feeling. 
but it's like they're getting in their head and then they overthink it and then they feel like they feel alone, but they're not alone. Like they have you. And I don't think they realize that they have you. I think a lot of them do feel alone. A lot of them feel confused. It's like, like I said, for some of the, for some of them, it's like they're creating this energy, like their own fears and their own sabotage is, you know, their own patterns are creating this energy. But for others, I feel like this might be a karmic that's messing with their head. They might not necessarily be with this karmic person, but this person might just be jealous of you like this person might just be you know doing like some kind of binding spells or some kind of black magic on them some kind of something to block them because it just feels like an unnatural block like it's either so a thought form a thought form would be like if this person's like afraid and they put all this energy into that like they can create like an it's almost like an energy form that takes on a life of its own and that might need to be removed even though it's not I mean it's them but it's not them it's almost like at a certain point it's like separate from them like they still feed it they're still connected to it like it is them but it's like it kind of can it can get chaotic basically um but for others this is like an actual person or like a job or something that's creating issues for you guys and making your person feel isolated and alone and, and, you know, empty and just not understanding how to get to you when there's a clear opening, but they're not something, they're just in their head a lot is what I'm getting. And it's very mixed energy though, because they are vulnerable with you. They are receptive to you. And I see like willpower, strength, confidence, like they're trying to work up the courage, but I also see this as like the karmic almost like trying to block, like it's like they start being vulnerable and then this karmic takes advantage of that vulnerability and kind of creates these issues and blocks them from you. Um, not to fear though, I mean, this is something that you can take care of. This is something they can take care of. It's, it's something that just needed to be brought to your attention, but don't give it more power than need be. You know what I mean? Like don't give into the fear it's like you're just as powerful, if not more powerful than this karmic. So this is something that can be cleared up. It's not it's, you're not stuck. But the first step is kind of recognizing that there is an issue, a problem in, you know, taking the steps to resolve it after that. Um, this interesting energy. They are vulnerable with you, though. I do feel that. Let's see. We've got taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. There's just some kind of manipulative karmic here. I guess that's a that's a an energy for water signs right now because I just did my um I just did my Pisces reading and I was getting the same energy as well that there was some kind of toxic ex or toxic karmic or something. So this I mean the story is different. But it seems like you water signs are dealing with some toxic karmics coming back around. Or, or your person's dealing with some toxic karmics. Your people are, I mean. But, um, okay, so taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. God, it's, it's like this mixed energy. I almost see this as like you too. Like you feel them thinking about you. You feel this energy of them wanting to give you this rose, wanting to commit, wanting to give you this love offer, male or female, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's like you feel them trying to summon this strength, this willpower, this confidence. You feel them wanting to come in quickly. Like if they're really in their head thinking about you or like they, they get drunk and they want it, they almost text you. It's like you can feel that. You can feel they're so close. Like you might be feeling like your heart chakra is opening up. Like you just feel their energy. And it's kind of like you're taking it, like you're trying to pull them in. And then it's like all of a sudden it's like silence again, like pride, stubbornness, confusion. And what I'm getting here is that there's a third party energy that's creating this tension and this block between you guys. Because I feel like this is actually a pretty healthy relationship between you two. So it's almost like maybe like if you guys are together, it's like the past month or two, you started arguing out of nowhere, just like having all these crazy arguments and like you don't know... Um, like, you don't know where they're coming from. Like, it's just, like, like just all this negativity out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Like, just all this. Or it's, like, you guys um, just have bad luck. Like, there's always something. You know what I mean? Like, there's always, like, you're busy or they're busy or you feel them about to reach out, but then, like, they don't. Like, they, they kind of, it's, like, these two people that, like, are right next to each other, but they're, like, not looking at each other. They're not communicating. 
I'm just getting the energy of like blocks and walls. I do, I honestly feel like some of you, for a lot of you, someone is hexing your person and this might not even, for, okay, so for most of you, I would say that this person is probably hexing your person because they want to get with them because this is like a third party that's like, you know, trying to claim them. Like they don't want to let them go. They don't want you to have them. For some though, it could be that someone's hexing you or hexing your person because they don't want to see either you or them happy. Like some of them, someone's just like pissed at you and they just don't want, they don't want to see you happy. You know what I mean? Like they don't want to see you succeed. They, they want to block you. They want to block your abundance, which would include love. Um, let's see. Let me see here. I'm just seeing what else I can channel from this. What else I get from this? But I don't, I want to say too, don't give into fear. Cause it's like, I've been hexed so many times. I can't even count. Like I, and I do uncrossing work. I do reversing work, whatever. Like I take care of it and you can take care of it yourself too. You don't have to, don't go to someone and get ripped off and, ha and pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get it removed. Like, no, you can, you can remove this yourself. You really can remove this yourself. You, um, if you have a benefit, so if this is your story and you need to be sure this is your story, you know what I mean? Like, like use your own intuition. Cause you would have felt this already. Like you would have felt like you're having like a naturally and not just during Mercury retrograde, but like before or after that as well, like, like a little, um, like, I don't know, just like something like things would just be off, like unusually bad luck. Like, like your finances are blocked suddenly, like your love life is blocked suddenly, like. Like you're having issues with your person that you normally would not have. Like normally you guys get along great and all of a sudden like things have just gone to crap. Like, um, or it's like a new connection and you know, you guys aren't together yet, but it just seems like they're always busy. You're always busy. Like, um, you miscommunicate, like something just always is like keeping you two apart. Like it's almost like a force and like you can feel it and you're just like, what the hell? Like, am I meant to be with this person or not? So like, you'll know. I feel like most of you are going to know if that's your situation. You know what I mean? Because, like, I feel like this is actually a healthy connection between you two. It's this third energy, whatever this energy is, that's creating these issues. Because I feel like normally you guys either have in the past or normally you would. Like, if this is, like, a new connection and you're still getting to know each other, like, normally there would not be these issues there. Normally it'd be, like, you guys would get along great. So there's something off here or like if you guys like it's like there's silence and you're you know there's just there's confusion on both ends is what I'm feeling here um but like I said do not give this this person does not have power over you like you have you needed to be aware of this but like you can fix this like you have the power magic manifestation intention power you know using maybe connected to the moon you you or your person might be really connected to the moon as well and you can use this power you know look into moon cycles maybe there's something on like a full or new moon coming up that you need to be doing but um but do uncrossing work that's and that's not hard to do if you have a metaphysical shop like i said do not go spend hundreds of dollars having someone remove this for you like if you know like a legit shaman like a real shaman like you you know for sure that they're the real deal. Like you have friends that have gone to them or something and you know they're legit and like they charge like a reasonable price, like maybe a hundred dollars or something for like um, chakra clearing and soul retrieval. You know what I mean? Something that's reasonable and there's no, see, so, so you'll, you'll recognize a scammer when they, when they, you know, when there's some funny business with them, if they're like, Oh, you have this ancient curse on you that you've, you know, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna die if you don't remove, you know what I mean? Just like, like chaos, like, Oh, someone, someone's going to die in your family. If you don't pay me $500 to remove this curse today, like don't get scammed, be, be logical, be logical. Don't give into fear. Don't, don't, you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't give into fear. You're fine. You're safe. When you find out something like this is going on and you, you know, like I said, if this is your story, you already know this, like you already feel something's definitely off here. Um, but like, you know, like I said, just don't give into fear. You just need to get it removed. And it's not, it's not something you have to go to a professional for. If you can just believe in your own power, you know, and some of you have been witches in your past life too. So a lot of you do have this power because I'm feeling like this person is not as strong as you. They're either just as strong or they're, maybe you're even a little bit stronger than them. So this is, this is a fair fight. Like you got this, you'll be fine. 
you know, don't doubt yourself, but you can, you can use your magic. You can protect yourself from this. So do look into uncrossing work. Um, uncrossing work is basically, it's, it's basically like spiritual cleansing. It's like, it's, it's, there's, um, God, there's hoodoo baths that you can buy. There's probably some on Etsy that you could get. Like there's, if you have like a legit metaphysical shop, you can go there and you can ask them what to do to remove a hex. Like it's, it's not, it's not something to be terrified of. It's not, you're not going to, nothing's bad's going to happen to you. It's just something that needs to be removed so that this energy can be cleared up and you guys can be together. Um, but there is like, I think in hoodoo, there's like a 13 herb on crossing bath or something like that. I think you can find those on Etsy. There's like hex removing baths and, you know, basically like uncrossing baths where you're, you're going to sit in the bathtub. You're going to, you're going to do your uncrossing bath. You're going to, you know, put that intention and energy in and ask it to remove any hexes, any, any crossed energy, any cross conditions, negativity. Um, in most traditions, you're going to have the water go down the drain. I know one tradition where, so you imagine the water absorbing this negativity and you let it go down the drain. I know in one tradition, they actually get a cup of the water and they take it outside and they let the rest of the water go down the drain and they take the cup of water and they pour it by a tree and they ask the spirit of the tree to absorb any of that negativity and transmute it into blessings for you. And you, um, you also want to gift the tree something for doing that for you. Like you want to like get like plant like a stone or a crystal or something there as a gift to the tree for, you know, um, like an offering basically. But there's so many different ways to do it. Like there's, you can also do like an uncrossing candle. If you don't have a bath, you can do like, just get creative with your spell work. But if you're unfamiliar with witchcraft, then I would go to a metaphysical shop, one that you can trust. And like I said, do not get ripped off. Do not let people tell you. Don't let someone tell you that you have some horrible thing going on that you need to pay hundreds of dollars to remove. No, none of that. Just go get your supplies. Go get your uncrossing supplies from a metaphysical shop. If there's none around you, like I said, you can look on Etsy. Um... And, you know, you can also, if you have a metaphysical shop and you, you trust them, you can talk to them to like, you know, ask them what they would recommend. Maybe they have like a certain candle that they make there or a certain like bath that they make or, you know, like a spell, like a common spell that they like to use or whatever that they can advise you on. But just get your supplies and just do this at home. Like you can remove this yourself. Um, don't get ripped off here is, is basically the energy I get. But, but yeah, there is something that needs your attention here. Um. If this is your story, that is, it's basically like, but like I said, it's, it's, it's something. So you need to remove it. You need to do the uncrossing to remove it. You need to, to really clear this hex out. You need to get this off you and off your person as well. It'd be good for them also to do the uncrossing. Um, you also need protection. So you, like I said, you can do protection, um, like oils, like you can get like ritual oils that you, um, that you wear on yourself. Um, God, there's a store that I really like. What is it called? It's on Amazon. What is it called? Oh my God, let me find it. Hold on. It's called Art of the Root. Art of the Root. It's on Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just like their oils. They work pretty well for me. Um, you have to put your own energy and intention into the oils as well, but like, um, and you can make your own oils as well, you know, like you, you don't have to buy them. You can, you can make them with just almond oil and herbs. If you get the right uncrossing herbs and, um, protection herbs, you can make your own and you can put your own energy and intention into them and, and charge them yourself. But, but if you don't want to do that, that is a store that I really like that I would recommend. Um, so you do need to do the uncrossing, both you and your person, and then also protection. And, you know, you can do reversing. So like a reversing spell would basically send this person's negativity back to them. You can, but it almost looks like a ping pong match. Like you're going to be in the middle of a psychic battle if you do that. So you have to decide if it's really worth it. With uncrossing, you're just removing it and protecting yourself. So you're good. But, you know, reversing is another option. But just, you know, sending it back to them is another option. But just be, you know, it's, it's, like someone's sending you a bomb. It's like, do you want to just throw it to the side and just let it go off and, and just be done with it? Or do you want to throw it back at the person? You know what I mean? It's like, it's up to you, but you are engaging in psychic warfare that could go on for even months if, if you decide to, to send it back to them. But it's, again, it's, it's your magic. It's up to you what you want to do. 
Um, there are times when it's like, maybe you just need, you need to do it, you know, but, but yeah, and crossing and protection for sure. And like I said, don't panic. This is something that can be removed. You guys will be okay after this. Um, yeah, don't overthink it. Don't self-sabotage, like pause, reflect, rest, breathe. Don't get stagnant. Don't get complacent. Don't, don't give in to your fears and your addictions and, um, you know, mental instabilities or whatever. Like, don't be seduced by those energies, you know. Don't hesitate either at the same time. You need to find an emotional balance. Um, and for some, you also need to cut the cord. So, like, this person might need to do, like, a, a cut and clear ritual as well to, so that this person can no longer pick up on their energy or your energy, whatever it is. Like, these red cords need to be cut when you end a relationship. So, so your person might need to do a cut and clear ritual on their ex if this is what's going on. So I hope this makes sense. I'm sorry to not give you guys a more positive reading, but that's, you know, the warning needed to come out. So, um, so yeah. And like I said, I'm getting that for water signs. I don't know. Like you guys are going through some weird stuff right now, I guess. So it's a weird time for water signs. I don't know. I haven't looked into what the planets are doing. So maybe there's something going on that I don't know about. I'm not sure, but, um, Anyway, thank you guys for watching. My email is below if you want a private reading. Um, email me first because I will be out of town, so I want to make sure I can do it, um, you know, make sure I'm, I'm free that day beforehand. So send me an email. Uh, any donations are appreciated. My link is below for donations, and please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks for watching.